far too many of us have forgotten the difference that dreams make in our lives. As parents, we ask our children, what do you want to be when you grow up? We ask them about their dreams. Do you remember as a child how that made you feel? It was inspiring because dreams inspire us. Dreams connect us and dreams strengthen us. Just the other day, my 10-year-old son racing out of the kitchen, wearing his oversized basketball jersey, gulping down his last bite of dinner, yelled out to me, Dad, I'll meet you on the court. It was time to play basketball. He passes me the ball. In that instant, my boyhood dream is rekindled. I'm in the middle of a roaring crowd at the Chicago Stadium. I transfer the ball from one hand to the other. I double pump and I slam the ball through the hoop, just like Mike. Suddenly, I get a push from behind. It's my son. Dad, would you stop staring at the hoop? Let's play. I'm sorry, son. I'm dreaming again. I'm dreaming that I'm Michael Jordan. But dad, dreams are for kids. Dreams are for kids, son? That's the problem. Dreams are not just for kids. Dreams are for grown-ups too. Dreams are so important, son. Because dreams inspire us. Dreams connect us, and dreams strengthen us. Strengthen us, Dad? Like lifting weights? No, son, not like lifting weights. Dreams strengthen our relationships, in our families, in our workplaces, and in our communities. See, son, as we grow older, we're told to stop dreaming, to get realistic. And we forget about our dreams. I guess that's why, son, many grown-ups, in fact, three quarters of them, are not engaged in their work. Engaged in their work, Dad? What does that mean? Son, it means that they're not happy. They don't enjoy what they're doing. And nothing engages people more than their dreams. I found this out firsthand in my work at Jack Spear Wine and Spirits, where we hold regular dream sessions. Dream sessions, Dad? What are those? Well, son, a dream session is where I meet with one of my colleagues and I ask them about their dreams. And then we set in place an action plan to achieve those dreams. And it's my role to support them to realize those dreams. Just the other day, I had such a dream session with one of my colleagues, one of our managers, Rhonda. As I walked into the office that day, she stopped me at the front door with the biggest smile you've ever seen on her face. Tim, she said, you've just got to follow me to the parking lot to see something. So I followed her to the parking lot. As we were walking, she's clicking her keys furiously until we get to a brand new blue shiny Mazda. She opens the front door. She hops in the front seat. She takes a big deep breath to take in that new car smell and exclaims, Tim, it's my new car. See son, just a few weeks earlier, Rhonda and I had a dream session. In that dream session, I asked Rhonda, what's your biggest, boldest, most audacious dream? You know, son, a dream that you never thought possible. And Rhonda said, it's my dream to one day buy a brand new car. And now, since she's achieved that dream, she's now moved on to a bigger, bolder, more audacious dream. It's now her dream to buy a brand new apartment. You know what? She never even mentioned that dream to me just a few weeks earlier. 
because she was too afraid. But now that she achieved her dream of buying a new car, it's now my role to support her, to realize that dream of owning her own apartment. Wow, that's cool, Dad. I never knew grown-ups did dream sessions in the workplace. Oh, and can you buy me a new car? I'd like a Lamborghini. No, son, I won't buy you a new car. But what I will do is I will champion your dream to save for a new car. Let's set out an action plan. First step, get a job. See, son, I never thought about dreams in the workplace until I interviewed for my dream job just a little over five years ago. I got a call that day from the chairman. The chairman was a big man with a big vision. He was the chairman of Jack's Beer, Wine, and Spirits. And he said to me, Tim, meet me tomorrow for lunch. I have an opportunity for you. So the very next day, I walked into that loud, crowded restaurant and sat down with the person who would become my future business partner. And son, do you know the first thing he asked me when I sat down? I don't know, Dad. He probably asked you, how much money do you want to make? No, son, he didn't. He asked me about my dreams, my personal and professional dreams. I hadn't thought about those dreams in years. So I had to take a moment to think about it. But I said, Chairman, it's my dream to become a partner in a thriving business. And my personal dream is to take my family to Disneyland. So after some small talk about the happiest place on earth, the chairman got down to business. Timmy said, I'm excited to offer you the opportunity to be our next partner at Jack's Beer, Wine, and Spirits. I was ecstatic. I jumped into that role with two feet and I gave it everything I got. As I began to succeed in that role, the chairman sat down with me again and asked me, Tim, what's your next dream? I said, chairman, it's my dream to be a business coach. As you've championed my dreams, it's my goal to champion the dreams of those around me. And now with his support, I founded a business coaching company, Service Leadership. And I work with other executives to champion their dreams and encourage them to champion the dreams of those around them. Wow, that's cool, Dad. So are dream sessions only something that adults have at work? Of course not, son. We have them at home too. Don't you remember Christmas Day just a few years ago? That year there was only one present underneath the tree. It was a card addressed to you and all of your brothers and sisters. Your six-year-old sister was the first one to get to that card. She ripped it open. And she began to read it out loud. We're all going to... Disney Lord? No, Dad, I had to tell her it was Disneyland. We're going to Disneyland. Can you, do you remember that excitement in the room, son? Through his giggles, your three-year-old brother had to ask, what's Disneyland? So for the next three months, we watched every Disney movie. We read every Disney book and researched everything we could about the happiest place on earth. And don't you remember, son, even months after we returned from that vacation, your little brother, your three-year-old brother, would interrupt our conversations at the dinner table to yell out, let's talk about Disneyland. See, even after our trip, that dream, it continued to inspire us, connect us, and strengthen us as a family. See, son, your mom and I decided that we're gonna champion the dreams of you and your brothers and sisters and support you to realize those dreams. Wow, Dad, that's cool. I'm happy that you supported me to, to, to get to my dreams. Yes, son. So, Dad, can we play basketball now? He passes me the ball, but I pass it back. See, son? 
as your mom and I championed your dreams, it's now time for you to pay it forward, to champion the dreams of those around you, your brothers and sisters, your friends, and one day, the people you work with. Yeah, Dad, I think I can do that. But do you know my biggest dream? Yes, son, I know. It's your dream to play in the NBA. Yeah, Dad, so can we play basketball now? Yes, son, it's now time for me to champion your dream. See, that conversation with my son, it reignited my understanding of dreams and how important they can be. If you're a parent, a coach, a teacher, a friend, or a colleague who's lost sight of your dreams, reignite them today. Have a coach support you in that because you can't give what you don't have. And reigniting those dreams will equip you to reignite and champion the dreams of those closest to you, those in your workplace, those in your family, and in your community. Because dreams inspire us, dreams connect us, and dreams make us stronger.